good time for you to apply now so that when january starts because remember people start having like goals in january this year i want to learn a new language it's good for you to have a profile open already so that when people start their new year's resolutions and stuff you're there you're ready to teach you know it's just like go time for you I got it. guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is bradley barako bazuri african social media platforms if you're a channel subscriber thank you for coming back please don't forget to like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed and please leave your comments down below if you still have more questions about online teaching after this video okay i will put a disclaimer and say that i do not claim to be an expert on online teaching but i do have experience because i do teach for an online teaching company so yeah today's video is about that so i put up a question tag on instagram and on youtube and i asked you guys if you have any questions and you guys sent in your questions so today i'll be answering those questions so i have my laptop right here with um the questions so i'll be reading from that and answering you guys' questions so remember if you have any more questions just leave them in the comments down below and i'll answer you guys or you can message me on instagram i'm open to any dm then i'll answer you privately if you don't feel comfortable um asking a question in the comment section but yeah so let's get started the first question is do i have to have a teaching qualification because i would love to teach english online while doing my teaching degree so the answer is yes and no like i said before there are some teaching companies that do require a qualification and there are some that don't so for example on italki there are two parts of italki so you can be a community tutor or you can be a professional teacher to be a professional teacher you need qualifications to be a community tutor you don't so if you don't have qualifications right now and you want to teach on an online teaching platform you can i did do a video i'll put it up there um, about companies that do accept people that do not have qualifications um, that you can teach English online on yeah so I'll put up the video up there or in the description box if you guys want and then you can go follow um, some of those websites and read up on them but some companies don't require a qualification at all so the next one is is it necessary to have a TEFL to be able to teach overseas and how is the content and the workload of studying education and what can i expect okay in terms of teaching overseas i do not know anything about that to be quite honest with you because i'm in south africa so i only work for an overseas company but i'm still in south africa so i don't know anything about that and also guys i do not have a TEFL at all i have a bachelor's in education um, senior phase and FET to be specific so that's all I have I don't have a TEFL I don't have a TESOL or any of those other qualifications I didn't feel it necessary for me to do that because that's not what I wanted to do because I was already doing a teaching degree in South Africa so yeah I don't have any of those so I can't answer that I don't know anything about that but I think if you guys want more information about teaching overseas um, I watch a girl named Spam Kize and she is overseas teaching right now or america i'm sure you guys know america um you guys can ask them about that i have no idea about that okay and then the other one is how is it um how is the content and the workload of studying education and what can i expect it depends right so i did for high school i will say honestly i don't know people differ in terms of like studying study methods and like how work is like for them in general but for me it was not that difficult it was not that bad but i had to learn how to prioritize my time especially if you're studying through unisa i had to learn how to prioritize my time and actually like put time out to like study and prepare for tests and do assignments and all that stuff so if you can do that then it's not going to be that difficult for you if you put your um school work ahead of everything else is not going to be difficult for you so for me it was okay it was manageable i did 10 modules every year so it was not that bad for me so yeah that's the content i think the only difficult thing that will you'll find challenging is the portfolios like the teaching prac portfolios because it's a lot like it's very very big and they want it like now now so yeah besides that i think everything else will be okay yeah okay the next question is which brand do you recommend for headphones with a mic okay so i've gotten this question before i have the box here okay so please take a screenshot guys i'm not gonna answer because i don't know the brand but 
this is what the box looks like so this is it says gm 001 or 001 i don't know and the earphones look like this so if you've watched my vlogs and stuff you've seen these earphones so these earphones are these earphones i'm just going to show you guys the earphones too they work really well so this is what they look like right um and then this is the thing i used to speak on so they work really well and i think they're no noise cancelling i don't hear anything else if i am like teaching with them so they're really good then i don't know they've carried me this whole year i don't have any complaints about them at all so those are the earphones and you can go to www.pcmax.co.za to buy them so that's www pcmax.co.za if you want to buy them and i bought them for 200 rand so this is the brand of earphones if you're looking for it it looks like this these are actually gaming here um headphones they're not actually like specific to online teaching so i just bought these and i thought um let me just try them out and see how they go but they really work so that's what they look like called gaming headphones and they have this symbol i don't know if you guys can see but yeah that's what they look like so please take a screenshot of this so that you can remember and yeah that's that this is the brand this is the brand i recommend because i use it so it hasn't given me problems so if it does give me problems in the future i'll let you guys know but for now this is the brand i recommend okay the next question is can i do it without a laptop but using a smartphone yes you can the part that you can't do though is apply with your phone you need like a laptop or a computer or whatever to apply because some teaching websites don't even allow you access to their website with just using a smartphone so you need to use a laptop to apply but for teaching yes you can i was teaching with my phone i think um a month ago because my laptop was broken and it was not working anymore so i was teaching my classes with my phone so yes you can teach using your phone but if you want to apply i suggest that you go to an internet cafe if you don't have like a laptop or something to apply with or borrow a friend's laptop and apply with that and then you can teach with your phone so teaching with your phone is okay but also again not all platforms allow you to teach with your phone so you need to make sure that the platform that you're applying for actually does allow you to teach with your phone because they do say on the requirements teach with your laptop or your phone and that kind of stuff so make sure that you read that little fine print or small details about what they want you to do and what you can do on the teaching platform but yeah as far as i know you can teach with the phone with some not all of them some the next question is how much can you earn on average or in average um so on average it depends right so i made a video explaining to you guys about how much i earn sometimes a week remember online teaching fluctuates so it's not really stable i'll speak for italki italki is not really stable in terms of like the amount of money you earn on average on a good month you can make 3.5 a week so that's like 700 800 rand per day depending on how much you charge also right and then on a bad month i will say for my bad month um at the end of the week i receive like so if i have like three classes a day or two classes a day or something like that so two classes or so is like a hundred and something so i'll get like 200 and something a day a day a day and then at the end of that week i'll probably get like a thousand rand or so which is not a lot compared to like peak months where i'll make like 3.5 or more so yeah it depends it really really depends so let's say given uh for example i earned the most money in before i went on vacation before october so so in september in september i made the most most money i could ever make because i had like so many clients coming i don't know from where because i don't know like there's something that happens between when school closes somewhere overseas and then when they come back again and people like signing up and stuff so i made the most money in september i made more money in other months too but like i made the most money in um september before i went on vacation because i had a lot of money to go spend so yeah i did in october too i made i made enough money but it wasn't as much as i did in september and then in november again i also made a lot of money in november now last month and then now in december i can't tell really okay so let's say by the end of this week i would have made like almost two thousand rand so that's a bit little than what i would normally make on average then the next question is i use an hp laptop should i buy a webcam because my laptop's camera sucks sis 
I use an HP laptop too. <laughs> I don't have a webcam. My quality is not the greatest, but I still use it and I've been using it and I'm not gonna buy a webcam. So it's up to you if you want. It, I don't know what the camera quality is going to do for you, but like, it's up to you at the end of the day. My students can see me, I can see them. It works, it's been working. So I haven't bought a webcam and I don't intend on buying one at all. Unless if my laptop breaks and I need to use this computer to teach with, then I'll buy a webcam. But if your laptop has a built-in camera, use that camera. The only thing that I will say though, is that when you're filming your introduction video or like a demo lesson or something, use a phone that has like good quality. And then when you up upload that, then it looks like, okay, this person has like good quality and stuff. Even though when you do teach, you use like your HP laptop. I use an HP and my HP is not that great either. Like the camera quality is not bad, bad, but it's not like iPhone clear is what I, what I can say. So I don't know. It's up to you. If you want to buy a webcam, you can, but I don't have a webcam. Next question is, do I need to have headsets or normal earphones are fine? Normal earphones are fine too. I used to teach with just normal, you know, earphones that you get with your phone. So I used to teach with that. They're okay too. You can teach with that. You don't have to buy headsets. I also didn't buy headsets for like the first month and a half of when I started teaching. I just taught with my earphones. And then when I got like my payout, then I took like 200 rand from that and I bought earphones. Yes, it is good to invest in like what you are doing. Certain things do help with like, you know, the progression or like progressing like your equipment and stuff. So yeah, if you want, you can buy headsets, but if teaching with earphones is okay, then it's okay. I mean, some people live with like families and children and all that stuff. So like, I mean, having, earphones that are not noise cancelling is a bit distracting because you can't hear your student your student can't hear you and all that stuff so you don't want that that's why i bought earphones um the headsets the big ones because it helped with that next one is i've only been teaching on preply and i have trouble getting new students two okay that's number one two can you please recommend other websites okay other websites that i can recommend you guys have no experience with preply and how you can get new students on preply there is a girl i think she's on preply or palfish i'm not sure please comment down below <laughs> if you're on preply and what people can do guys if you are actually watching this video and you are teaching on one of these platforms please it would be so so appreciated if you could share your input like this is a community here you can just leave the comments down below share what whatever it is that you want to share you can share it down in the comments below i do not mind at all if you want to help someone else please do okay in terms of other platforms i know there is palfish that's accepting south africans there is um nova kid but nova kids you need qualifications there is cambly i didn't get accepted by cambly but i still recommend cambly because there's some people that get accepted by cambly guys i made a video about this okay <laughs> i don't remember all these teaching platforms but there's quite a lot there's quite a there's verbally that you can apply to there's a lot of teaching platforms that you can apply to so if you want that Again, the video will be in the description box. You can go look at that video or go to www.oetjobs.co.za and you'll find a lot of jobs that um, accept South Africans. So you can do that too. Yeah. And then the next question is, what teaching materials do you use when teaching? I feel like the ones I'm using are not good. Okay. So the teaching materials that I use, guys, um, it varies, right? Um, according to what the student wants so if a student wants like grammar stuff or you know like strict english rules and all those things there's a website here let me check quickly the website that i use to teach online is called english club okay so it's uh english club english so that's the website i'll also leave the website in my description box and i'll also show you guys like a screen recording of what the website looks like but i use that website english club it has everything it literally has like grammar vocabulary punctuation pronunciation stories anything but also you can teach like anyone anything and then in terms of like esl conversations there's this other website that i use also called esl discussion topics okay dot com <laughs> esl discussion topics dot com so if you want um to have conversations with your students and you feel like sometimes you're hitting a brick wall because no one knows what to ask or no one knows what to say you can use this so this website if you guys can see can you see it 
there there's the website so if it's it will open like this is green and then when you go down here so there's different topics that you guys can like deal with there's like general business grammar and then there's here like general topics so you can open any um topic it'll say air travel childhood education fashion whatever and then you go down again business topics blah blah blah, blah again and then other topics and all that stuff and grammar topics and then anything anything on this website so these are the two most i'm lying there's a third one the third one i use is called voa english learning so that one i use it to test out my students reading abilities so there's like a lot of um stories and stuff actually like news like actual news that are happening in the country or around the world updated daily so i use that one to test out my students reading ability and all that stuff so i use that so i use those three websites obviously there's like more and stuff that like i discover along the way as i teach and stuff but that english club esl discussion topics.com and then there's voa english learning so i use those three and then in terms of voa english learning you don't have to worry they do like you know basic intermediate and advanced um english level so they do cater for different students with different english levels so those are the websites that i use to teach with so i will leave those websites um in the description down below if you guys can use them if you want and in terms of other things like because i do help my students with preparing for the ielts exam that's also different like i use youtube videos to help them with that i use like anything research anything from cambridge um there's like a cambridge website that you can use if you go on those websites they can help you with like coming up with teaching materials and all that stuff so yeah you just have to google guys just google remember last time i told you if you google esl topics anything will come out esl this ESL. so english is a second language discussion topics or conversation esl is a second language uh lesson plans esl is a second language um teaching plan or grammar pronunciation i don't know anything if you put ESL and then you search, you'll find something to teach. Next question. I use Zoom when I'm teaching, but it's giving me problems. One. Two. What other apps can I use? I want to try Skype, but I don't like the features. Okay. So I teach using Google Meet. So Google Meet is good. It's really, really good. It has all the little features. You can share your screen. You can share documents. You can share anything. So if you can download the Google Meet app, then that would be great and then you can send you can start a meeting copy the link send it to your student and then you can have the lesson there it works really well i also don't like skype because i also don't have skype on my laptop like, i don't know why i can't install skype on my laptop but that's a story for another day um i only have skype on my phone so i don't really want to use skype and i've never used zoom so i don't know what zoom even looks like to be quite honest with you so yeah i use google meet and i sometimes use skype but i wouldn't recommend skype i would recommend google meet google meet works perfect and the next question is i'm thinking about investing in equipment can you please recommend some okay in terms of recommending equipment it depends it varies if you already have a laptop you already have everything if you ever already have earphones that's fine but a thing that i would recommend you to get is obviously a ring light which i don't even have anymore which is broken but if you can afford to buy a ring light you can or let me show you guys something right here as i'm filming this video i'm using this light right i use it sometimes to help me with like lighting and all of that stuff so this light was like what 60 rand at game you can buy that too if you want that's the other equipment that i use and then another thing that you can buy yeah nothing else really just headsets yeah if you already have a laptop your laptop if you have a phone a phone that's it there's no other special equipment that i have to be quite honest with you. unless if you're teaching kids then i guess you need to buy like cardboards and numbers and abcs and all that stuff but besides that all i have is my laptop and my earphones that's it i have nothing else and the internet obviously but nothing else next question is can one start applying now or is it too late should i wait until next year i don't think it's too late i started applying towards the end of the year last year and then i started working working in january really because i only had like one lesson in december which was like what one dollar and then in january that's when i started making like money for real because you get a lot of students so actually it is a good time for you to apply now so that when january starts because remember people 
start having like goals in January. This year I want to learn a new language, or this year I want to go to the gym, or this year I want to do this and this and this. So it's good for you to have a profile open already, so that when people start their New Year's resolutions and stuff, you're there, you're ready to teach. You know, it's just like go time for you. So yeah, apply now. Yeah, I would suggest you apply now. And then other question is, can I apply? I only have a TEFL certificate with no prior experience. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Again, some teaching platforms want more, but some don't even want a TEFL. They don't even want a teaching degree. They don't even want anything from you. They just want you to be a native English speaker. But if you have a TEFL, great. Apply. Use that TEFL. Apply, apply, apply. So yeah, but you have to find the specific platforms that want that. The platforms that don't want a TEFL, apply to those. It, the platforms that want to take for apply to those apply to any platform that you can find out there last question from the instagram questions is do i need qualifications guys i've answered this question so many times but i'll answer it again yes and no you don't need a qualification sometimes you do need a qualification it depends on the teaching company so yeah if you have a qualification great if you don't then it's fine but remember you just have to be a native english speaker so if you can speak english and your english is good then you're, you're good to go so yeah that's it so those are all the Instagram questions. Now we're going to move on to the YouTube questions, okay? So the first YouTube question is, Hi Zuri, I live in rural Eastern Cape, so I can't have uncapped Wi-Fi, but I'm thinking of getting a SIM-only deal. Do you think 400 gigs would be sufficient enough for a month of online teaching? All I know is that teaching companies want specific internet speed. So something about speed, something about... Wara wara something something speed is what they want. So I'll put up a screenshot here on the side of like a specific website that says they want the specific speed. So if your SIM card can give that type of speed, then I think it's good. I think it's fine because I think per lesson, I've taught um, a lesson with one gigs of data and it took like 800 megabytes. So I don't know. I really really don't know it took like 800 megabytes so I think 400 gigs is a lot name I guys I don't know I don't know all I know is that they want specific internet speed so if your sim card can give that specific internet speed when you test it out then you're good to go then it's fine but then again you also have to try you have to do it to know because you can't say will this work will that work you never know so try with that like try with your 400 gigs use it to teach and stuff and then if it ends somewhere between the month and then you have to load more data or something, then you can tell how much data you need for the month with that. Yeah, that's all I can say, I think. The next question is, hey Zuri, do you ever get students that want you to teach them using lesson plans? If so, where do you find them? Okay, yes, sometimes they do. Like my students will message me and say, hey, today I want to learn about uh, future perfect tense or something like that. And that's where those English club websites come in play because they have everything. They have like simple tense, past tense, future tense, simple, like, you know, past, perfect, simple, anything, anything you want is there. So if they want something like that specifically, I go and I prepare for it ahead of our lesson. And then I teach it to them. I show them stuff. I show them material. I send them screenshots. I send them homework. I send them everything that they want. So yes, I do. And that's the websites I use. English Lab, VOA, English Learning, and I also use the ESL discussion topics. So it depends on what my student wants, and then I can do that. If I'm teaching a child, which I have before, like a 12-year-old child, and the parent says, um, can you please teach my child how to spell? So I'll go find, like, I'll ask, okay, how old is your child? Which grade are they in? And all that stuff. And then I'll go find, like, suitable material for that. So I'll go, like, uh, spelling Mm, spelling test for a grade six learner and then i'll find that and i'll give it to them and I'll, okay you study this tomorrow we're gonna do a spelling test for like 30 minutes before the lesson and then they'll put away everything and i'll say okay the first word you need to spell is like consequence consequence spell this word and then they write it down and i'm like and when they're done they send me a picture and i mark it and i'm like okay cool you got this right you got this right you got this wrong this is how much you get good try again tomorrow we i send them like another 10 spellings or 20 spellings and then i you know give it to them at random and stuff so yeah i do sometimes but also this my students like work together so like we work together you know they tell me what they want i do what they want or sometimes they'll just say we just want a conversation and that's that so i don't have to use a lesson plan for that but if they want something specific then yes i do and i use those websites again i'll leave them in the description box 
you guys can find them and you guys can use them if you like. Then the next question is, which teaching platform are you working on besides italki? I only work on italki, guys. I wanted to apply for another teaching platform, but I could not at all because I was just so caught up with like life and doing other things. So and yeah so i just work for italki i also do private lessons outside of italki so that's the other thing i wanted to tell you guys if you're really good at like a subject like either maths physics whatever it is that you name it if you're really really good at that subject go to your local school and like paste a flyer like even if it's not like a fancy flyer just take a paper and write your number and say i give extra lessons for this uh, subject and paste it there or give it to someone or whatever then they'll contact you and you'll help people and make extra money in your own local community in your own local area like that if the online teaching thing is not working out so yeah i do that i do i talkie i also do like um extra lessons like private extra lessons and i also do like something else too which is related to teaching but yeah so that's what i do i don't teach on any other uh, teaching platform i am though i told you guys that i am busy with applying to nova kid and i also want to try and apply to pelfish but i want to try nova kid more than i do want to try pelfish because it seems like nova kid is paying more so yeah that's what i'm gonna try and do and then the next one is hi zuri thank you so much for this uh so how much do you charge now and how make how many how many clients or how many clients do you have per week or so thanks again okay so how much how much do you charge okay how much do you charge guys i am not expensive right my cheapest class is five point something dollars i'm not that expensive and my most expensive class is like seven dollars something so i'm not um, charging anything over ten dollars so that I can get a lot of um, students and stuff so per day if I have like five lessons on average I get like on a good ish week I get like seven eight classes so I get like 800 rand per day um, on like not so good days I get like three classes or four classes and I make like 400 rand ish per day so depending on which package they pick that's how much they pay so i have three packages right so the first package is like the basic conversational english um, for beginners to fluent english speakers my cheapest lesson is 100 i'm lying yes 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 my cheapest lesson for 30 minutes for 30 minutes you pay 100 148 cents so 100 rand basically and then for 45 minutes you pay 102 rand and then for an hour i charge them like 103 104 rand so that's like a cheap cheap lesson and then the next one which is like not expensive but like also like a little bit more um for 30 minutes you pay 108 rand so that's general english conversation so if you want to just talk to me about anything and just like chill and it's not like a serious like you know cat mat you know past tense future tense type of thing if you just want to have like a normal conversation whatever that general english anything anything goes in this um package then my cheapest uh, my cheapest lesson for 30 minutes you have to pay 108 rand and then for 45 minutes you have to pay 108 also 108 rand and then for an hour you pay 112 rand so that's how much i charge that's the second package and the third package is the IELTS test preparation. So that's for like any exam preparation that you want me to do with you, help you with essay writing, correction your essays and all that stuff. I charge for that um, here. So for 30 minutes is 100 and, 103 Rand. And then for 45 minutes is 121. And then for 60 minutes is 140. So that's how much I charge. Also, depending on like the exchange rate, the price does go up a little bit by a few cents or down by a little, a little bit by a few cents. So yeah, but that's how much I charge. You guys can see, and I don't think this is, this is not really private information because it's there public. If you guys go on my iTalk profile, you'll find it, you'll see it if you want. But yeah, that's how much I charge. And to answer your question, the second part of the question says, how many lessons or clients do you get per week? Per week, if I get, um, let's see, if I'm getting, maybe I get five here, so that's five. Let's say on average I get like, um, but it varies, yo. I don't know how to answer that. Um, let's say on a Monday I get like 
seven eight students and then on tuesdays i'll get like five or four and then on this day i'll get like seven eight and then on thursday so monday tuesday thursdays i get most of my students so i get like eight seven eight seven students here and then on thursday or wednesday i mean i get like four or five and then on friday i get like three or four students and then saturday i get like one and then on sunday again because now i open my schedule to teach on sundays i'll get like three four students so on average let's say maybe on average i teach like five or six lessons per day or clients per day but then also remember my students are returning students so these are the students that i've had since the beginning of the year some of them so they have lessons with me monday tuesday monday tuesday monday tuesday so or wednesday thursday wednesday thursday or i don't know like wednesday friday wednesday friday so that's how many lessons I have per day and then how many students I've taught overall I've taught like 85 students and the number of lessons I've taught now I think is 460 lessons as we speak today as of the 6th of December I've taught 460 lessons on my talking yeah the next question is what tips or advice would you give someone who is looking forward to getting started with teaching English online? Okay, so the advice that I would give is that just get started, you know, like just bite the bullet and just like do it. I know it's a bit intimidating, especially like when you think about like doing your introduction video or like what you will say and how you go about meeting clients and students and stuff like that, whatever. I know it's a bit intimidating, but just get started. Open that website, fill in your details, Think about what you'll say on your video. I've made plenty of videos. There's a video that I showed you guys, like a demo or like an example of how you can make an introduction video. Just, just start, guys. Like, just start. And then you'll figure it out in front. Like, if things don't work out, they don't work out. It's fine. Whatever. But at least you started. Like, then don't live with the regret of, oh, my God, I've got, I could have taught on this website or I could have done this or I could have done that. And then I didn't. So just start. Open that website. Fill in your details and all that stuff and everything else. You'll see, you'll see it as it goes, you know? So just get started and make sure to show people your personality, especially when you're doing like your video, like your introduction video, like smile, you know, like be friendly, be like well-spoken and have like a very nice background, look professional, don't look like me because I had blonde hair. I don't know why I had blonde hair, but do that and see where that takes you. Okay, just, just get started. And if you have more questions, there's plenty of other videos that you can look at. Plenty of people made a lot of videos on YouTube about like how to do a perfect introduction video, how to do a demo lesson, how to do any of those things. So yeah, it'll all work out. Just don't live with the regret of, oh my God, I could have taught on this website or I could have done this, I could have done this, and then you didn't do it. Yeah, so just, just get started. The next question is, is italki now hiring for English? No, they're not, unfortunately. Italki has been on a hiring freeze for like almost a whole year now, if I can remember. Like the first video I made, I think the first, first video I made about italki, they were still open. I think only in that month, and that was like four months ago so no they're not open it's unfortunate but i think right now on the platform there are a lot of um teachers and not enough students so that's probably why they're not hiring any more tutors or teachers or whatever but no they're not open but that's that's not a train smash there are other teaching websites that you can apply to like the ones i've told you guys about before go in the description box you can find them but yes there are others but no italki is not open for new intakes right now Okay, and I think this is the last question. It says, hi, babe. If I'm teaching online with my phone and I don't have the strong Wi-Fi um, you use, which one do you at least recommend? Ooh. I, guys, I don't know which Wi-Fi I would recommend. I mean, I know places like, I don't know if it's rain or something. They have like cheap-ish Wi-Fi that you can buy. Or something but we've only used web we've only used web african we've also used vodacom vodacom also had some cheap-ish and cheap-ish i mean like 500 rand or so so i don't know if that's cheap and all. that varies basically from person to person depends on what you can afford i would say this though like fish around like look at mtn look at salsi look at telcom look at like whatever it is that you like they have in your i don't know where you live but like i'm just saying like in your area if they have like Ikeja, Rain or Vumatel or any of those other 
wi-fi providing companies and just like compare prices and see which one best works for you and you can pick that one but we use web africa we've always used web africa except for the one time we used vodacom a little bit for you know because they introduced fiber to the area or whatever but like besides that we've always used like web africa and web africa is not cheap so right now we pay i think 700 rand on the dot or 694 Five or something for our Wi-Fi and it's like really really good so yeah that's what we use and I don't know what I would recommend but like I said just go compare prices like find them online see what they offer see what the internet speed is like and then decide from that according to your budget and then you can pick the one that you want so yeah I think that's it we don't have any more questions about online teaching anymore that is it that is the end of the video if you guys have any more questions that you feel like i did not answer in this video drop them down below you can ask any questions if you want to ask me questions on instagram go on my instagram i'll leave the handle right here and yeah that's it i can't say anything else i don't have anything else to add i will say someone asked me on my previous youtube video how my experience was with applying to the other teaching platforms guys i have not i'm being honest right now i have not applied to them i've only done research so the past week or so not past week the past month or so i've been looking at novakid i've been looking at how people make their videos on novakid what they do and all that stuff i know i need to go buy like little boards and stuff for like abcs and one two threes and all those things and i don't know if i wanna invest money into that right now but i'll see like if the if I get time now during the holidays, I will do my Novakid video and I will upload and I will apply. I'll shoot my shot. If it works out, I'll come back and let you guys know. But for now, I have not applied to anything. I've just been looking at Novakid videos, looking at what they want, their requirements, how to do the stuff, how to do the videos, like what to say and like how to do the demo lesson and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm just doing as much research as I can, which I normally do research on like teaching platforms like this for a while before i actually like comment and stuff so that's why and also i've been a bit busy the past few months since i released that video saying that i will try other platforms i have not so yeah if someone has tried any other teaching platform please let us know in the comment section please help out as much as you can if you want and i'm sure it will be greatly appreciated and thank you guys so much again for watching my videos and thank you guys for watching this specific video and if you enjoyed it don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video if you have other video suggestions or something else that you'd like to see from my channel specifically someone told me that they want me to teach a lesson and they want to hear everything so i i will consider doing something like that although like it will take a lot of space in my phone <gasps> but i will try if you guys want that then i will do it but yeah for now thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye